Hello guys, welcome to The Train Parrot. You probably have noticed how many times I've been working on trying to find indicators that can make a great work at spotting the top of the market. They all have different nature and they will all trigger with different conditions. In this case, the one that I'm featuring today is called the Hive and this indicator uses bearish divergences. It basically tries to find a cluster of many different bearish divergences happening at the same time. Normally, when that happens, with a very high likelihood, after that happens, you get a massive big correction. As we can see here, we have the three last triggers that we had. One was at 51K around February, and that gave you a few months to exit the market. This one here that happened on the 9th of August, it gave you some time here as well to, to take some profits. And the most recent one was on 17th of October, calling out this top here. This was triggered at 61.5 and we still haven't, you know, come back over these levels. In today's video, we're going to go in detail in how this indicator works, how can we use it, how many false positives we should expect because with every indicator, you are never going to find one that gives you 100% certainty on anything. And at the end of the video, I'm going to explain how you can gain access to this indicator. So before getting started, let's go and look at other alternatives. Like for example, here we have super trend, which although it's an indicator to confirm the trend, it's not necessarily an indicator to tell you where the top is going to happen and there's a big difference there even though the cell is shown here which is quite confusing people say well this indicator works perfect it spot the very very top if you look at this cell label here this is print on this candle and it's print at the cell the time it's basically closing so it's telling you to exit at 56.8 Whereas the Hive is telling you to exit at 61.6. And the reason for that is the super trend draws these lines and it's only going to confirm a reversal in the trend to the downside when the price crosses the green line. That's why many people call these indicators lagging indicators. They confirm what already happened. So the price went all up to almost 69k but this is triggering only on 58, which is good enough for many use cases. But if what we want is to exit early with the bots, like for example, we really want some time to let those deals to close. We don't want to be told that there's already a collapse. We want to know that there will be a price correction. And in this case, the Hive, because it's using divergences, uh, it's kind of forecasting the price correction. In that case, instead of being a delay signal, it's a leading indicator. The second example here I have of another top uh, indicator is this uh, free indicator which I have on my TradingView account. And as you can see here, is finding all the tops, including the local top that we are seeing in 2021. But at the same time, is only finding the very tops. So we are finding the very top of 2011, the two tops of 2013, so basically this and this, this top on 2017, and this potential local top of 2021, for many, is the actual all-time high of the cycle. And that depends on your opinion. Then we also have this one that I recently displayed in one of the previous videos, which is called the TTP MA crosses. Although this is also a lagging indicator, it's giving you still enough time to exit. Very little time, but still in this top here. In these two cases, it's a very lagging indicator. It's already at the bottom signaling to exit. So if you were doing a sell here, you will basically sell all at a loss, it's just confirming a trend reversal in a similar way to how Supertrend is doing it. So that takes us to divergences. Uh, I've been using this view for many months where I have divergences of many indicators and I tend to look at this very often during the week. 
to try to spot things like accumulation of divergences, either at the bottom to signal a potential bottom or at the top to signal a price correction. And as you can see here, we have an accumulation there and there, but sometimes you only get one. And this is a, a divergence on the RSI. So that's a single indicator. Then I started adding more indicators that can give me various divergences from other indicators. And, but it's very difficult to visualize this and it's very difficult, therefore, to react to it. I decided that I wanted to build something that basically process all this information here in a much simpler way using some thresholds that I could specify in the indicator. And by using that, then I don't have to be looking at this. I can just have my own strategy and follow it. As soon as you add the hive, into your trading view chart, you're going to see something like this. It's a little bit more noisy by, by default because it's meant to be showing you all the divergences from different indicators that are currently supported, right? So you can see here that there is a hive of bearish divergences there and here and here. All throughout the history, you see where you're starting to find many different divergences happening at the same time, then there usually is a big correction. But there's also one here, but there's less amount of divergences happening at the same time, at least compared to this area here. And that's where we introduce something to actually act as a threshold to decide overall when do we want the hive to trigger. And we decided to have the number of days to count back in time and to have a minimum divergence count. In this case, I'm using three divergences count in the past eight days. And that is going to trigger true many times. So you're going to see that in many occasions you are seeing the hive triggering, but I only want the first time it triggers. And I also want to see in the chart what was the price that it trigger, which is marked here in gray. And I also want to use ATR to see a potential bottom upcoming. In this case, I'm multiplying by two the ATR and drawing a red line with the potential target. But as you can see, many times the target is going to be met and then there will be more dampiness or the target won't be met is just going to do some small correction and come back up. So we can call this kind of false positives. In very rare occasions, you get the hive to actually trigger, but then you don't see any correction. But there are plenty of good examples as well. Like, for example, here in August 2020, this fire there, there were some time to, to, to exit and then dump. And here are examples, two examples of uh, false positives where this one is probably the worst. November 2020 was one of the most bullish times of Bitcoin. Of course, you were seeing signals all over the place. In COVID, this one is there. We got, as you can see, there are divergences everywhere as usual. So this kind of mimics the noise here. But if we remove the noise, you know, if we want, we can remove all the indicators from here and just stick with the threshold that we establish. You are also going to find places where there are no divergences and therefore you won't get any hive signal. This is a decent one. I mean, it's triggering at the top of 2017. If we get more picky, we are going to notice that it's signaling already at a correction. So this is signaling already at minus 11%, which is, you know, if you stop the bots, this dead cat bounce could give you the headroom to exit, but it's not ideal. We wanted ideally to get a signal around here. Unfortunately, as you can see here, there are not enough divergences. There's one, two, and three, but you only get three in this candle. And this is a kind of decent one. There's still correction. The correction is almost 10%. This one was a good one in 2017. So this fires there at the gray price. And then you get a correction of 35%. Uh, there's another good one here in 2017. So you can go back in time and you're going to find that you know, overall is 
pretty good, but there's always exceptions. Depending on your risk aversion, you can use this in many different ways. You can just decide that every time it fires, you go in cash, but that could be really bad. And as I explained, if you get a false positive like this one here and you went all in cash, you will have missed this whole pump. So you need to find a way to use it that goes with your risk aversion. And also, it's not necessarily true that we want to always react in the same way. If we are in the middle of a bull run and Bitcoin has been running hot for quite a long time, we might want to subscribe in the most extreme way to this, to go all USD when we get a signal and we are kind of smelling that the top is getting very close. Like for example, here, if we get the signal, it might be a good time to decide to go into USDT as opposed to maybe here, not overreact and just let it run a little bit more, maybe just stop the bots for a few days or, or, a, or a week or something like that. But once you see this in the chart, you can make your own call and decide how to use it. Now, in terms of how to use the Hive, at the moment, you can only use it to spot tops. This indicator has been designed for only for the tops. You can definitely add your three commas webhook here and send any signal to start, to stop the bot. Depends if you're running shorts or longs. You can also use it to stop all the bots, all the longs in the same account. Recommas allows you to do all those kind of things. So guys, that is what I wanted to show you today. If you're interested in using this indicator, you can head into the tradingparrot.com slash tiers and then you're going to see here all the tiers and which indicators are included by each tier. There's a whole list here of all the indicators. The Hive is going to be available for all the tiers, all the tiers in the trading part. And just a clarification, if you want to do divergences on multiple indicators, you can always, always go to TradingView and find alternative scripts that they do very similar things. You really shouldn't get the subscription to the trading parrot just because you're interested on a single script. Most of the people that join and get a subscription either for one month or for multiple months, they do it because of the added value of all the things that we are trying to put together for this community. If you want to just get the indicator by itself, it's definitely not worth getting any tier. So guys, let me know in the comments, would you prefer to use MA crosses or the hive or what would you prefer to use to actually exit the market? What do you trust the most as a signal to call out a potential top? I know it's challenging. I know sometimes it's impossible, but what is the best that we can do to mitigate those risks? And again, guys, if you like the content, please subscribe, consider hitting like and leaving a comment is always the best thing that you can do for this channel. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye bye.